bless the name of the Lord, our great God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we just want to give you thanks today. Thank you for another morning. Thank you for another day. Thank you, Lord, for this gift. This gift, God, of a new day where your mercies are new. Lord, there are so many that went to bed last night and did not make it to today. But according to your grace and to your mercy, oh God, we are here and we are grateful. Lord, I thank you that this morning we will be blessed by you, God. As we look into your word and we learn of you, I pray, God, that you would bless each and every person that would be a part of this devotion this morning. I thank you, God, for their commitment. I thank you, God, for their willingness to spend the early part of the day with you. Lord, I pray that you would let your word come this morning with power, with anointing, and with clarity. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Good morning. Good morning, friends. Good morning. Welcome to another word of encouragement. Welcome to another week. Welcome to another day that the Lord has made. And we will, in fact, we will rejoice and be glad in it. That's a decision that we will make to do today. You know, we don't need to wait on anybody else. We can make up our minds that we are going to rejoice in this day. We don't know what later will bring, but we trust God. Today we are talking about the steps of a good man. They're ordered by the Lord. The steps of a good man, they're ordered by the Lord. And for that, I would like us to turn to Psalms, well, Psalm 37, and we'll be reading verses 23 and 24. Psalm 37, verses 23 and 24, and I'm getting right into it because, you know, we only have half hour to spend together. I don't want to make it a habit to keep you all here too long. Good morning, Miss Yolanda Peeler Jackson. Good morning. Good to see you. Oh my goodness. Where you are, it's 5 a.m. and you're up. Good to see you, sis. And of course, it's six o'clock in the British Virgin Islands where I am. Yes, it's the 22nd day of January. Yes, and it seems as if the year is almost finished already. <laughs> All right, that's exaggeration. So Psalm 37 verses 23 and 24. And it says in the King James Version, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand y'all hear that let me read it again Psalm 37 verses 23 and 24 declare the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighted in his way though he fall he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. Yes. Now, when I look at the way, <laughs> Sister Yolanda, that's you. <laughs> that's you. All right. Let me get the sound um, off. Yes, that was you pinging. Okay, so when I looked at the word, you know, ordered and there, there are so many meanings to order, you know, but when the word of God says the steps of a good man, that they're ordered by the Lord, it simply means that they are directed by the Lord. They are ordained 
by the Lord. Yes, they are decreed by the Lord. They are guided by the Lord. And sometimes we say to ourselves, well, if my steps are ordered by the Lord, then why does it seem as if I'm making so many missteps? Well, let's call them that, right? Where we end up in the wrong place at the wrong time and it seems as if we're out of the will of God and well listen let me tell you something friends even in those moments the Lord will turn it around for your good that's what I love about God he's great and he can do anything I love that about God I love how he can take a mess and it's cliche, but it's true, and turn it into a message. Some of you will agree that the Lord has done some things in your life, even while you consider yourself in a mess. And he took that thing and he turned it around. And it's like almost making something out of nothing. Only God can do that. Sometimes we try to do it on our own. And it doesn't work like that all right good morning miss glenda i hope brother micah is there with you yes good morning yes please confirm if brother micah is there you know but god is such a good god that he helps us along the way the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord we are guided by god he delights in us and we are beneficiaries of his sustaining presence. Sometimes we get the impression that God is angry, you know, with us. And sometimes we hear that terminology used as it relates to, you know, God and his people and the relationship that we have with him. And like any parent, like any parent, when we go off course, of course, he corrects us, he disciplines us, he chastens us, but that does not mean that he does not love us. When we go wrong, then he expects repentance from us, but that doesn't mean that he does not love us. It's really his chastening at times that proves his love for us if we can look at it in the right context. So we are beneficiaries of his sustaining presence. You know, we're guided by him and he delights in us. So that's why I took the time to explain that, that sometimes even our own parents, they may discipline us. And I'm talking about when we were younger coming up for those who are adults now, but somewhere deep inside there, we, we, we knew it, or we still know it, you know, that they love us, they loved us, and it was for our good. My great-grandmother, you know, with whom I lived for a good portion of my teenage life, I keep talking about the things that she used to say. I remember I had so many sayings that a friend suggested that I should compile all these sayings into a book and get it out there, you know, because it's so, it's so many wise sayings, but there is so much more that we can even get from the word of God and then couple that with some earthly advice. It makes your life uh, more meaningful, right? <clears throat> it, it makes your life more meaningful. So our lives, and this is something that we have to understand, our lives, even though it feels like it sometimes, it's not left to chance or fate. It's not a random thing. Our lives are not random. God is extremely, let me put that word, intentional as it relates to his dealings with us. He did not randomly say okay let me make or cause to be born a lady named Yolanda and maybe I will maybe I won't it wasn't like that at all I'm pretty sure 
that the Lord was very intentional because you're here, right, Yolanda? Through many dangers, toil, and snare, you have already come. Glenda, same thing. You know, the Lord, he knows exactly the purpose that he made each of us for. And because of that, we each have a contribution to make in the world. That is why you cannot die before your time. Yes, there is such a thing called untimely death. You know, there are situations that would lead us down a particular path and as a result of that some people die young you know when they could have lived to be older and yes all of that is in god's hands but i'm saying if for example you're continuously warned say you own a motorcycle just for example and you're continuously warned when you're on the road be careful be very careful do not bob in and out or bob and weave you know in traffic observe the 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 road signs observe other people using the, the road other drivers pedestrians but you decide you know i'm young i'm free um i am just gonna do what i want anyhow anyway and then before you know it we're reading that something tragic happened so i'm saying you know if we turn our own lies desires heart over to god and say okay god i am in your hands then he will take care of you and cause you to live and not die not the devil come and snatch you away because of disobedience you understand i i hope you're getting that part but the steps of a good man a righteous man so you're asking who is a good man you know because we always hear it there is none good there is none righteous all of our righteousness are as filthy rags listen the lord sees hearts when men see on the outside and uh, uh men may judge and say you know, I don't think he's righteous or she's righteous because of X, Y, and Z. The Lord is seeing the heart. And then, because you see, like, like I always say, you know, the Lord may not show us the hearts, but he shows us the fruits. And that's where we see what's really going on on the inside. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. We hear what is said but we cannot see what's in the heart because i think it was the same psalmist david that said you know uh they speak with me peacefully but in their hearts they're burning with anger towards me i'm just summarizing right so sometimes it's difficult if we're only gonna go by actions you know like to tell because some pretend well but rest assured friends that your steps your steps are ordered by god the the steps of a good man a righteous man are directed and established by the lord established by the lord and he delights in his way and blesses his path so it is god who delights in our way you know because he's the one that ordered the steps he's in control he's in charge He's the head honcho, okay? He's large and in charge of our lives. And if we would just allow him to be that for us, to be that guy, then we find that our way will be a little bit smoother or we can bear whatever comes because we have allowed God to order our steps. Sometimes we... We, we go to some places or we make certain decisions and it, it, it just don't seem right. It just doesn't seem right. And later on, you, you really see, and I said this before, but just for emphasis, you see how the Lord can take something like that and turn it around for his glory, for his glory. And that is if we let him, because sometimes we resist God. We, we grieve his Holy Spirit. You know, we, we just don't do right. <laughs> but 
the Lord still loves us and he takes care of us and he continues to woo us and you know all we have to do is turn back to him and he will order our steps he will keep us right the Lord and when we got to verse 24 it says though he fall he shall not be utterly cast down how many times we have been in situations and those around us would probably say that's it that's it that's it now you know he's a goner she's a goner and I'm not just talking about illness because it's not just illness that can have us down that can have us seem as if we're falling but there are some other things right because we live in a fallen and perilous world so we can fall we can fail we can find ourselves in situations that are tight but what the lord is saying to us this morning is that he will help us to rise from that fall whatever that fall was it could have been a mistake that was made and sometimes we like to put the word honest in front of mistake an honest mistake you know where um you, you just never knew it's not like you did something knowing fully well what the consequence would have been so it's when we get into uh, embarrassing situations it's when we get into uh, failures you know slip backs or when we even when we become doubtful we, be, we become doubtful oh Lord yes you said you would do this but um, I'm not seeing it I, I Lord I don't know what to believe and then his word comes to us that says you know a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways when we say we're stepping out with god or we're trusting god we should not be afraid you know of the outcome he has built us to withstand trouble it's just that some give up some who do not know god they give up they become hopeless i was uh uh, listening to the news recently I, I don't remember where but some of you may have heard it it happened in the US where a university uh, what was she she was something a, a big position at one of the universities and she committed suicide because she was being bullied by her boss and I'm like it was unbelievable to me you know because I'm thinking to myself probably this lady would have been someone that others would go to when they're having a, a tough time or a difficult time and she just became hopeless because that's really the last thing it is said that the last thing to go you know when persons find themselves in that uh, situation is hope they have lost hope that anything can change about their situation so it was a bit surprising to me you know to hear this to learn of this because it's like you know I wonder if she knew Christ and some would probably say well if she knew Christ she probably wouldn't have done that but sometimes it's difficult to come back from a, a certain point but if we can find just that little bit of push left in us to hold on to God I've always said it I'm not giving up it doesn't matter what I so said the devil try all kind of things you know to get me to become so distracted that I walk away from God I'm not doing it I always say you know regardless of what happens around me you know relationally or any of the other alleys God didn't do me one thing you understand you know we have to look at things in perspective don't walk away from God because of what somebody did 
stay with God, stick with God. If he has to move you from one job to another, you're not gonna run, you know, every single time something happens. But remember that your steps are ordered by the Lord and he will open doors for you. If he wants you to stay somewhere, he will create the atmosphere for that to happen. So even when things are tough, you tough it out. If you know what I mean. You, 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 it's not to say that you're accepting, you know, a toxic or negative situation. But when things get tough, he strengthens you and you're able to withstand. But when he wants to move you, he will. So we shouldn't have any doubts about the Lord being able to order <laughs> our steps. The steps of a good man, they're ordered by the Lord. You know, sometimes some people take a lot of advice from different people. And that's where some go wrong. Because the Lord would say, you know, your steps are ordered by me. But we have to go to our friend to find out what they think. Now, we know that counsel is good. The Lord doesn't frown upon counsel. Good counsel. Good godly counsel. It's okay. You know, you have a particular decision to make. You're praying about it. But then he would lead you to somebody to get some earthly advice. And that's fine. But sometimes what we do, the Lord has already spoken, but it's not what we want to hear. So we go to see if we can get somebody to confirm what is already in our hearts, not knowing that our steps are ordered by God. And when he says, it's time to go, it's time to go. If he says stay, it's time to stay. You understand? But you have to trust God in the process. You have to trust God, knowing that he will keep you and sustain you, even in those times when a little confusion may come in. Like I said before, when you fail, you know, when you fall, when you made a mistake, when you slip back, you know, sometimes we call it backsliding. And some people believe that when you slip back, that's it for you no it's not it's not the lord has a plan for your life he has a map and you will know what it is if you ask him if you draw near and you say okay god what's the plan i don't see one but if you continue with that relationship with god he will speak when you pray Leave room for God to respond to you. When you're confused, like right now, today is Monday. It's almost the end of January. And I'm pretty sure some people left 23 saying to themselves, I need a new job. I, I need a change. I, I need something. And they're seeing January ticking away. And they're not seeing anything you know, lined up anywhere that you're even remotely interested in to apply for. I'm just saying, right? And you're like, Lord, what is happening? But I always say success will come to those who are prepared. So it's not just about waiting and waiting and looking and waiting. You have to prepare, you know, have you sorted out the resume, updated the resume, do what you know to do and leave the rest in God's hand and watch him order your steps. When you, you, you get to that place that he wants you to get or he wanted you to get to, then you look back and you say, my God, why was I worried? Why? You know, because God is so, he's awesome. He's past finding out we cannot fathom god and the way that he works so if you're having any kind of doubt about the lord's ability to lead and direct 
your steps lead and direct your life probably not in a way that those around you approve of but god you know that it's the lord that's leading you you follow after god and watch him work work miracles you know he provides he guides he leads he he says go here now do this now go and do that for that person no and it would surprise you friends it would surprise you of how good our god is so that's my encouragement to you today just to always remember that your steps are ordered by the lord they're not ordered by man they're ordered by god the creator the great i am can you imagine that the God of the universe, the, the creator of all, Jehovah, you know, El Gibor, the one that fights for us, the, the, the one that provides, you know, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha, the one that heals, you know, Jehovah Shama, the one that's there. You, you are being uh, protected and guided and comforted. You are really the apple of god's eye so do not worry so much about you know what's taking place in your life and it doesn't seem to be lining up with what plans you had for yourself what about the ones that god has for you we're gonna pray because we want to believe god whose report shall we believe we shall believe the report of the Lord. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just want to thank you, God. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy towards us, Lord. We will never stop thanking you for that. Because you're so good, Lord. You could have done away with us. But because of your love, that unending love that you have for us, your people, you have kept us. And today, God, you're reminding us from your word that our steps, they're ordered by you, Lord. Our steps, they're ordered by you and that you delight in our way, O oh God. And even if we fall, we would not be utterly cast down. We would not be utterly lost. You will not give up on us. You will not throw us away, oh God. Even as sometimes when man, when man is not pleased with us, they cast us aside and they throw us away. But Lord, you are there from everlasting to everlasting. You will always be there. Man came here and saw you. Because you created man and you will always be, even when man passes away, oh God. Except, of course, when we meet up for eternity. Lord, today I pray for your people who may be in what we call a valley of decision. Where they are considering their steps and they are trying to figure out, okay, who goes with me in this season or who will be left behind? Lord, I pray that you would bring divine wisdom. Your word says that if any man lacks wisdom, let him ask of God. And Lord, we're asking. We're asking for wisdom. Wisdom to know what you're saying to us regarding any matter, regarding any decision, regarding any step. We invite your wisdom, O oh God, into our lives. I thank you, Father, that your word is true, your word is clear, and you love us. You love us so much, you would not allow us to just wander away. But Lord, you would bring us back, and you would care for us, you would love us. O oh God, we thank you. Bless your people today. Bless the work of their hands. Bless their children. Provide. Oh, Father, guide, 
protect. Lord, let no weapon formed against them prosper. Lord, I thank you that even in this world, this perilous time that we're living in now, you have protected us. You're keeping us. And for that, we're grateful. Go with us today. Lord, let there be no accidents or incidents, situations that would come to disrupt our lives. Oh God, because our trust is in you. I thank you now, Father. Do with us whatever you will. Lord, some of us were saying, I'm available. So Lord, do for us now what we cannot do for ourselves. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Well, friends, it was good to spend these few moments with you. Um, let's see who else came on here that wasn't shy. Molly's messing with the thing and get it all all kind of thing coming up on the screen miss harriet good morning good morning sister <laughs> miss angela rock good morning god bless you you know god is good friends god is good he's awesome he's wonderful i love him you know i truly believe that my steps are ordered i hope you believe that your steps are ordered as well do not allow the enemy to come and push you off course with any temporary situation don't let him come and dangle any carrots before you to cause you to turn away or to walk away from God or what God wants to do in your lives ask him father what should I do what's the next step don't be afraid or ashamed. He is your heavenly father. Ask him. He has all the answers that we seek. Let's not be afraid of God. We should fear him, yes. That's holy reverence for him. But let's not be so afraid, you know, because we got ourselves in some kind of situation. And we believe that the Lord will not hear us. Go to him, confess, repent, turn away. And continue in your relationship, in your walk with him. Like I said earlier, right? The time is gone, but I'm just emphasizing this. That it doesn't matter what is going on around you. Trust God. To work out the details man may want you to go to the north or to the south but the Lord says go east and you're resistant but if you trust God you will obey his voice all right it may not be what you want to hear but God is good and I'm talking about you know the direction that God gave not what I'm saying <laughs> Okay, because the most I can do is encourage you to walk and walk with God regardless of what comes. All right, so God bless you this morning. And like I always say, until we meet again in this fashion, take care.